So uh, Adarsh has a question about Zoom and how to make the, the recording higher quality. Um, so, well, number one, I think uh, webcam really does make a difference. If you're using the built-in webcam from your laptop, it's almost certainly, it, you can almost certainly do better than that just with $100, $150 webcam. Uh, before the pandemic, they were much cheaper. They were like $50. And then once the pandemic started, either it's supply chain issue or price gouging, they went double or triple. The same camera was double or triple the, the, the amount. Once the pandemic started, I was shocked. So anyway, um, this webcam I bought for like $60. I think it's now at least $100. Logitech, if you just go to Amazon and, and Google webcam for Mac or webcam for PC or whatever computer you use, whatever the Amazon's choice is, it's a good start. If, it got, if it's an Amazon choice that has lots of reviews, it's always going to be mixed reviews. If something has over a thousand reviews, always there are going to be enough people complaining about it. But if it has four and a half stars or above, I would just go for it. Don't, you know, that's part of the paralysis analysis of buying something. Just buy it. It's, it's good enough. It's always going to be complaints, right? And just try it out. Return it if it really is that bad. So number one, webcam. Get a better webcam. Um, that, that, that often... So number two, um, Adarsh uh, question was very sophisticated. So should I record my Zoom using QuickTime Player? So I'm assuming you're on a Mac, right? So QuickTime Player is a free software that comes with a Mac that you can record your screen. But the problem with recording a screen with QuickTime is that the, the files are enormous. Have you noticed? Like even if it's a 10 minute recording, it's like a gigabyte or something crazy like that. And so I don't think it's, yes, you could, but it's, I think, People who are recommending that are, they must have huge computers or what are very fast processors or very fast upload times. Because otherwise it's insane in terms of the, the, the file size. So I, I don't think that's practical for most of us. Um, so uh, the, the final option is to upgrade your Zoom account to a Zoom, uh, I think it's called a Zoom business license, which unfortunately requires that you buy 10 licenses. So it's like your minimum monthly spend is going to be $150 for Zoom, $150 for Zoom minimum. If you want the higher quality, if you want a 1080p recording, you got to buy the $150 a month Zoom, which, which means you have 10 licenses, which means you have to, you can get together with nine other friends and say, Hey, because I already asked Zoom this, could I buy the $150 a month license and then just allow nine of my friends to also have this high quality Zoom account? They said, yes, no problem. It's like them having their own Zoom account, but they're under your umbrella. You're giving them a license right? and they pay you, you know, and privately. I, I asked Zoom this and they said, apparently they said it was okay. So once you have that, you can then, once you buy the Zoom business account and have nine other friends or whatever, or, or pay that 150 a month yourself, you then can ask Zoom, you have to contact the Zoom customer service. Can I get 1080p? It's called 1080p, 1080p, 1080p recording for my Zoom account. And then they'll manually turn it on for you. And then you'll have higher quality Zoom recordings going forward. So I hope that helps. And uh, if you have any other ideas for higher quality Zoom recording without QuickTime's, you know, 10 gigabyte, you know, per Zoom or whatever, please comment below. Thanks so much. And um, thanks for Kim, uh, follow up question. Well, which Zoom do I use? I well, I, I, I probably could get enough of you to buy into the Zoom business to say, well, let's all upgrade to Zoom business together. Everyone pay me 20 bucks, 15 bucks. I'll even make a little bit of money. You know, I could do that probably, but I was like, ah, oh, I'm kind of lazy. And none of you have, have complained about, if, in, if I get enough complaints about my Zoom quality, this is Zoom, by the way, that everyone watching this, this is high quality enough. I don't know. Um, it's probably a little fuzzy. I'm sure the 1080p would give me more wrinkles, right? So I, I, I mean... It's, it's, is this high quality? I don't know, um, but no one has complained. So that's why I haven't had the pressure to upgrade. So, um, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot one, one important thing, one important recommendation. And this is something my friend, Sean Galanos is doing, the lovedrive.com. Smart idea. Um, I'm proud that we actually brainstormed this together. You record your Zoom calls with an external phone camera or external camera. So in other words, you're on Zoom, right? But you have another camera that's positioned, maybe just above, you got to position somehow so that it's, it's right next to your normal Zoom camera. 
and you look at that official camera because you're recording just a regular video. But again, doing that also means that okay, I guess the same idea. It's probably going to be a huge file because you're recording it at you know high high density or high high fidelity or something. So anyway, hope this helps. Any other comments? Uh, let let us know below. George. I just wanted to know if you have anything else about sound also. I, I loved that for the- Sound, oh, sound, yes. Quality. Just get the iPhone uh, earpiece and, and you'll be good. Yeah, um, everybody, I've tried Blue Yeti. I've tried different Amazon headsets. This is the best sound that I've ever tested. And this comes by default, well, it used to. Maybe you have to order it these days. It used to come by, I think these days it's the uh, wireless one, which is not as good as the wired ones. This is the old school iPhone earpiece it's twenty dollars or forty dollars on from apple.com don't buy from amazon those are all knockoffs they look exactly the same but they're all knockoffs on amazon go to apple.com buy this one this wired one okay